Hi there, everyone. I'm Sam Valenti, Arizona Rattlers and Indoor Football League beat reporter for the Varsity Sports Show. I'm honored to be joined today by the owner of the Duke City Gladiators out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Gina Prescore and Thomas. Gina, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. So, so what's the feeling like, you know, as an owner w- with this season, you know, just getting underway and stuff? Well, you know, um, it goes back to the last season for us, you know, rocky start, you know, switching of coaches and, uh, and then getting to those playoffs and, you know, in the last three seconds, they said, go home. So, <laughs> so, you know, coming into this season, you know, of course our goal is to, to get, you know, Kevin and Dixie, those are our first two goals. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, just, to, to have a lot of fun and be really competitive and always improve our product. What are some parts that you think your team needs to improve on this week facing the Frisco Fighters after the opening loss to the Rattlers? Well, you know, we're really excited about Jason Serta coming back, you know, our linebacker. And um, I think him getting his timing down, you know, Greg Dent, who's a dual player, you know, back on the field, him getting his timing down. And so just, you know, the few adjustments that need to be made to, you know, to play the game. And then of course, you know, a lot of new faces out there. So it's hard to predict, you know, what the play is going to be. So just adjusting to, you know, basic timing and such. I think the guys, you know, like I said, you know, everybody, what I have learned is, you know, no matter whether you're one year or two year or three year, by the fourth game, everybody's a vet. So <laughs> I think those adjustments get all made by that fourth game. Definitely. Once again, I'm joined by Duke City Gladiators owner, Gina Prescorn Thomas here on the Varsity Sports Show. You know, I'm curious, what do you think makes the fan culture in Albuquerque unique and different from other IFL markets? Well, you know, I've, I've traveled with my team. I mean, almost to every, you know, to every venue, um, trying to uh, make sure that, you know, we're, we're, we're being competitive and that we're going with the league. And so, you know, of course, there's nothing like the snake pit. I mean, nothing compares to the snake pit. Over there in Frisco, you guys bring a good draw to your arena. Um, and in Albuquerque, you know, we've been around since 15. And so having those fans that the people that come from Tucson, that come from Prescott, and that come from Arizona when you guys are out of town. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, now for, now for some of the listeners, you know, who might not follow the IFL or might not know much about, much about Duke City, uh, would you mind just maybe going into detail about some of the best players on the roster, some of the most exciting players that the Gladiators have, because there, there is a ton. Well, you know, um, we broke, uh, you know, Nate Davis and Dell Davis broke a ton of the IFL records last year, you know, just with our first year in. And then, you know, you've got Greg Dent, you've got Dexter Reese, you've got Jason Serta, you've got, you know, Jared Elmore, you've got, um, you know, we've got this new kid named, uh, his last name is Chapman. He's really good. Um, you know, we've got, um, on our offense, we, you know, we've got, you know, Ryan Ballantyne signed, you know, we've, we've, we've got some really good, you know, a great receiving core again. And, you know, we brought back a lot of our DBs. So there's a lot to be excited about on our roster. Our roster looks good. I, I would definitely agree about that. Um, what would you say is just your favorite part about getting to be the owner of an IFL team and getting to be the owner of Duke City? Well, you know, when I never planned to own an arena team ever, um, it was a little, it was a business venture and I ended up with all of it. So <laughs> I very quickly had to learn how to run the team, um, you know, got a championship out of the CIF, got a couple of them. And then immediately moved to the IFL, realizing that the ownership um, and the, the, the game itself and the competitiveness was at a different level in this league. And so, you know, owning a team in Duke City, the biggest part for me is, you know, is the community outreach. You see it all the time, Sam. We get to affect so many people with our team. You know, we get to go to the schools. We, we get to do haircuts. We get to do, you know, coats for kids, kicks for kids. You know, um, we get to put smiles on a lot of people's faces off the, out of the arena also. I totally agree. And then do you have uh, any final messages for any Gladiators fans who might be listening to this? Well, you know, the, for, for all, you know, IFL fans, you know, buy tickets, support your team, you know, uh, you know, be a, be, a, be a good ambassador of your team. 
you know, uh, you know, there's good banter and there's bad banter, but, you know, just, you know, support, you know, all the players, sometimes they say, you know, like I had a fan who was upset with Dello, you know, and I tried to explain to the husband that, you know, this is, this is a pretty exciting game. And, you know, sometimes the guys just get a little, you know, a little wound up. So, you know, give a little grace to both sides while you're out there. And, you know, we still get to have a competitive game, but, you know, keep in mind that everybody's wrapped up in the moment, you know, and for our Duke City, for our Duke City Gladiator fans, you know, we plan to bring home a championship. You know, we, we plan to win our home streak this, these next four games that we've got. I mean, we get to be at home for four games, you know, rolling out a new field, rolling out new uniforms. You know, we're super excited. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we have been joined by Gina Prescore Thomas, the owner of the IFL's Duke City Gladiators here on the Varsity Sports Show. Just once again, thank you so much for coming on. It's been awesome. Thank you so much, Sam. I appreciate you having me on. You have a good day and go Gladiators.